Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. This is going to be a, a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and a Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July 21st, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we're going to jump straight away uh, to the spread. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for Capricorn uh, week, that is going to be the Tower card, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that you Capricorn needs to overcome, this is going to be the Strength card. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the um, Ace of Swords. And then the last one which is the Guidance here for you guys, that will be uh, the Chariot card and... Uh, well, that is going to be quite of a, um, <laughs> well, it's it's very milder to say a very dynamic week. It's, uh, it's just, it, it does look like a week of a lot of temper, a lot of clashes. It looks like a week of, of, of in generally, a lot of tantrum, if I may express it that way. But let's go once again through the cards. So the tower is the first one, which stands for the topic followed by the challenges here it is the uh, strength card afterwards it is the ace of swords which represents the positive aspect and then it is the chariot card which is the guidance so um well it does depend how the ace really manifests itself <clears throat> in this week and that will define the manifestation of the tower card so um, I do believe that for the majority of you, Capricorn, a two things may happen. One of the two things may happen. Either some sort of an information or a truth is going to come in your way, which is going to completely traverse the course of your situation, either marriage or either career, or based on your personal spiritual growth, and uh, mental evaluation, it is that you are going to place different diagnoses upon your current marriage, current relationship, you know, or in generally the life that you are leading. So what I'm trying to say here is that your life throughout this week is going to take on certain direction in a very dramatic way. Okay, and that is described by the tower card, which points that whatever you are going through throughout the week is going to have very unpleasant symptoms. That will be a transformation, all right? So you are going to either going through transformation into your marriage, transformation into your career, or whatever, and that transformation will appear in a very unpleasant fashion, very unpleasant way, like with the truth that you have no clue that exists up until this moment. For example, a very um, disturbing one could be that you may find out that your boss plans to kick you off, all right? Or that your 
girlfriend cheated on you or your boyfriend cheated on you, all right, or that you do have a rival or you name it, all right, so very, very unpleasant information or a truth may come to you. Or in the same fashion, you know, you know, you may woke up one one morning and you may kind of find out that you don't love your husband anymore, you don't love your life, your wife anymore, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. We're talking here about destruction, destruction of something that you have already built. Right? That could be a relationship, that could be a project, as significant, or it could be as simple as I don't know, maybe you have built up a, a, a meeting that you're going to have with a bunch of friends and this meeting ain't going to happen, all right? So it does depend. The significance and the magnitude of this card is going to be different for every single one of you. But the thing is that you, through it, you are going to go through a, a purging period, a, a cleansing period, all right? The accompanied card here is the judgment and the things are getting even, even more serious now. We are... Wow, we are really talking about a, a big revelation, if I may express it that way. As, especially if that manifests itself to you as you w wake up one morning and you realize that you don't love your romantic partner anymore. It's, it's going to be uh, that impactful, if I may express myself that way. So, these couple of cards are definitely marking a the beginning of your new you, okay? Your new take on your career, your new take on your relationship, for your new take on yourself, if you want to say it that way as well. So it seems that there are a lot of um, <clears throat> things that you have to work over, you know, like a, a personal um, standing, you know, like a um, influence as well, and etc., etc. It is just these cards are so broad. Um, for some of you Capricorns, these cards may point as well that the whole world is going to be brought down, the whole world that you have built up until this very moment. But that is just only one part of that reading, okay? Because the Tower card at the end always have cleansing and healing effect. In fact, the tower card happens for the reason is that whatever situation you're finding itself at, um, where the tower card manifests itself, it's simply, it's so stagnated, it's so constrained that it has no more room to grow. It's just, it doesn't give you pleasure anymore and you are stuck in there. So let's say that the universe itself messes up with it and buzz it a little bit so you can and destroy it as well so you can pick up the pieces the pieces and build it up the way you want it or according to your own personal image and uh, then we go to the challenges which is the strength card All right so the biggest challenge here is to tame your temper i mean the strength card really expresses especially in a um challenging position it does expresses this um how do you say excruciating temper ready to devour everything around ready to annihilate everything and everyone now there is no need for it as a matter of fact there is no need for you explaining why you are doing what you're doing okay so if you're feeling unhappy in your marriage for example well, it's obvious what you gotta do. You just don't have to make a big deal about it. It's just you already found your revelation, all right? If you are feeling threatening to your career as well, there is no reason for you to scream and shout about it. You just confront it. That's the point of the strength falling up here. Don't allow your temper and your aggression to try to deal with the situation because only the things are gonna get even worse. I mean, you have to, um, let's say, kill the aggression with kindness here. <clears throat> the accompanied card is going to be the Tree of Swords. <clears throat> and the formation, it is a active friends. And that is even more intense that we do have here. The Tree of Swords just says to the, to the strength card is that the pain of this revelation and of this uh, of this truth let's say or this new 
profound way of yours is going to be very deep and, and, and profound and that will furthermore feed your anger and uh, furthermore uh, escalate the necessity of you to just let's say confront your um, your problems in a very warmongry fashion okay so it's they, these cards are asking a lot from you uh, Capricorn these cards are asking simply to uh, it's not even simply all right but they are asking from you to squeeze your teeth as hard as you can and just go through it all right just don't mind what is happening around you okay just live through this transformation and as soon as the transformation the havoc and the, the the chaos is over then you will have a chance to rebuild your life more beautiful and greater than before so that leads us to the next card as a positive aspect and that is a positive aspect in the long run not exactly in a, a short one so you may not feel that positive aspect here uh, in this week and the card simply says at least you know right um at least you know what you have to do at least you know what have been done all right at least you know the truth this is simply what the card points and you know what you have to do from now on it requires a lot of courage because the Ace of Swords as an action always involves courage. It, it asks for, for those drastic standpoints that there is no going back from, all right? So, for example, your partner cheated on you and the drastic standpoint here is just, you know, cut or sever every tie you have with them. And that, that will be it, all right? The Ace of Swords here urges you to clinch on your mental strength, spiritual evaluation, if I, um, if I may say it that way, and accept, you know, the reality that it is forming around you. The accompanied card here is going to be the Three of Cups. The formation, it is a uh, active neutrals here that we do have. So with the Three of Cups, for better or worse, um, it does, well, there are going to be a supportive people, faithful friends, you know, and faithful companions. And uh, the best thing about it is that even though they may not understand where you're coming from, all right, and they may not approve your actions straight away, nonetheless, they are going to support you. Now, this is what we are calling true friends, right? They may not approve your methods. They may not approve your decision but they not for a second doubt that you are doing what you think is best for you, what you think is best for your family, for your happiness, for your career, and etc., etc. And they will follow you. This is kind of like a blind faith, if I may, um, if I may say it that way. This is like um, bondage that goes beyond the physical realm and even beyond the ethereal realm. This goes... Uh, and an uncon to a, a point of unconditional loyalty so this week as well you're going to understand and see who your friends are and then the last one is going to be about the guidance here and that will be uh, the chariot so as a guidance the chariot points that you are much stronger than you think you are you definitely can succeed uh, pushing through this transformation and at the end ending victorious about it. Now the chariot however urges you um, not to be milder in regards to your performance when it comes to rebuilding back your life like for example second marriage right like a uh, I don't know another job or, or another relationship as well you shouldn't make any compromise with yourself any longer but instead uh, cling to every criteria that you are building up throughout this transformation because this is the transformation what is all about to make you a better person to 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 build you up um into something that simply seeks better and how one can seek better if one cannot see the worst and that's why this is happening this week so you see that you can live without it with no problem whatsoever and that will make you seek for like i said a, a 
a better goal, you know, a better job. So let's say your boss fires you, all right? That is shocking. It's something that you haven't saw, but it is real. It is what it is. So that asks for drastic measures. And uh, your friends may not see why that uh, the, the whole thing is happening here, all right? Your friends may not approve your actions, for example, to put your boss in court, all right? To, to file charges for them. But they will support you and out of it, it's just the next job that you're going to find yourself at is going to be much more brighter and better and well paid than the one that uh, you have been fired from. That is just for example, all right? The accompanied card here is going to be the Seven of Pentacles and uh, the formation, it is a, a passive friends that we do have. So as a guidance, these cards here are pointing that you are going to learn a, a great deal of lesson. You're going to learn from your mistakes. And next time you charge into something or you, you know, take on a certain undertaking, you're going to think twice about what you have to gain from it. It's the, this, is, uh, this is the guidance itself, all right? Or simply the guidance is, for future, my friends, do not pick up battles that you don't know that you can win, right? Pick only those battles that you are 100% sure that you can win. Do not play risky with your life, that is. So that being said, Capricorn, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading, a bit intense, guys. Uh, I think that you draw the short, uh, the short stick here, but it happens sometimes. So I wish you best of luck throughout the week. I hope that it is, uh, these, uh, this reading is gonna manifest for something negligible for all of you. You know, I don't want you to suffer. But sometimes suffering is necessary so one can evaluate, you know, the blessings that one can have around them and uh, place better goals in front of oneself. But yeah, that was your uh, reading for the week. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.